you going, everybody? Nikki here. Um, I'm at Lolligan Art Gallery at uh, Wembley Road, and I'm going to show you the start of my exhibition. Um, I've got a sneak preview. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is it. This is uh, Whatever Happens Happens by Icky Hassel. There's a uh, quick rendition of what it's about. Um, Whatever Happens Happens by Icky Hassel is a proactive reconstruction of a water state orphan, a recreation of materials unwanted by a person unwanted. <laughs> Me. Um, these works are accompanied by insightful, reflective poetry. In this exhibition, I wish to reflect upon my uh, mental and physical abuse of my childhood by using thrown away unwanted items that symbolise emotion, memories, thoughts and actions. The use of barbed wire expresses the entrapment and prison-like existence that sews my life together. The torn canvas is a reflection upon my soul, torn but still valid. The crutches symbolise strength when debilitated. The broken frames are a direct reflection of the artist's mental stability in the poetry. The poetry, I shall not speak. Just because something is thrown away, broken, or no good, doesn't mean it's useless. This exhibition has been created completely from recycled materials, unwanted paint, and thrown away items. It comes with a content warning. So, um, this exhibition includes content which may be confronting to some viewers. Some words or images can cause sadness or distress or trigger traumatic memories for people, particularly survivors of past abuse, violence or childhood trauma. For someone, for some people these responses can be overwhelming. If you need to talk to someone, support is available from these numbers here. Lifeline's on there, one three one double one three double one one four or um, support services at 1-800-16-1109, Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. Now, um, as I said, these paintings, some of them come with poetry. This is the first poem, and it's about this painting. This is called Who Am I? And it's a 120 centimetre high by 90 centimetres wide. It was painted basically on the floor with um, old house paint that people had given me and spray cans and um, this purple. The texture on this is quite crazy because if you can see the light bubble, the effect of it. Um, it's because I had some paint that was in a tin and it was gone moist and only still pliable enough that I could crumble it with my fingers and then it fall on the canvas and it was wet enough that it might still stick. And basically, I picked the painting up, and if it didn't fall off, it got to stay on there. So that's how that went. Um, it was going to be an abstract, it was actually going to face the other way, but um, I was riding my push bike in the forest one day, and I got lost for five hours. So um, while I was lost, I found these butterflies in there, down here, on my walk, while pushing my bike up a hill. They were already dead. Um, I picked them up because I was extremely lost and uh, whatever, delirious maybe. Put them up, I put them in my wallet. Anyway, a week later, they ended up in this painting. I put them on there and um, not knowing where I was putting them, but some people may see a face in there. So that's good. Here's a poem that goes with it, and I'll just quickly read it to you. Um, it's called Who Am I? There's a man has a beard, arched back against my wall. Am I worried, you asked? Oh no, not at all. He has butterflies for eyes, and he's bigger than a sword. It's not what I intended, we'll just throw him around paint. He happened, it seems. Angels, I think. So delightfully quaint. Well, maybe it's from, like, my sixth sense. I say this because he's insanely intense and incredibly tricky. He's power and strength, and he's by House of Vicky. Come to the Lagan Art Gallery, people. Um, have a look around. This is one of eight of my paintings. Um, they don't know my poetry, but that was one of them, and I hope you can get along here. Thank you very much for watching.